Hello students, how are you? I hope you are enjoying the digital class. Today I am going to take the subject mathematics. Today's topic is stories of addition 1 from page number 26 of the mathematics textbook. Before starting the lesson, let's recall what is addition. Finding the total or sum by combining two or more numbers to get a new number is called addition. It is denoted by the plus sign. This is a plus sign. For example, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 is an simple addition. Now we will revise the addition of two digit number. So let's take the number 17 plus 22. We can add it horizontally also vertically also. So we will add vertically over here. Now we will put tens and units. Units in the right hand side and tens in the ten left hand side. Now we will take the first number that is 70. So we will write 7 in the units place and 1 in the tens place. Now we will take the second number that is 22. So we will write 2 in the tens place and 2 in the units place. So as we have to add, we have to put a addition sign over here. Now we will start adding from the units place that is 7 plus 2. Now we will add with the help of some stars. Now let us take 7 stars first. So we have to add 2 to it. So we will put more 2 stars over here. So we will add these stars all together. That is 7 plus 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. Now we will add the tens place. That is 1 plus 2. So first we will take 1 star. Then we will add more 2 to it. That is 1, 2, 3. So 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So we have got the sum. So the sum of 17 plus 22 is equal to 39. So I hope you must have understood this addition of two digit number. Now we will see what are addition stories. These are basically word problems. We can call them addition stories. These stories first gives information and then ask us to find out something. We have to understand what is given and what we have to find out and then only we will be able to solve the problem and get the correct answer. So children, to understand it, let's take the first example of the textbook. First we have to read the information what is given here. So let's read. Manjot planted 14 almond trees and 21 guava trees. How many trees did he plant altogether? So what's, what, what we have to do? We have to read the information carefully and we, then we will write the what is given, the information what is given. So what is given over here children? Almond trees and guava trees. So we will write here almond trees and guava trees. Now what is asked children? It is asked, they have asked how many trees did he plant all together. So they have asked the total number of trees. Now for finding out the number of trees all together, what shall we do? We will add. So for adding we will make a table. Now we will write tens and units place. Unit in the right hand side and tens in the left hand side. Now we will write the first number that is number of almond trees. So how many almond trees are there? 14. So we will write 14 in the first column, 4 in the units place and 1 in the tens place. Then we will write the number of guava trees. How many guava trees are there? 21. So we will write 1 in the units place and 2 in the tens place. Now as we have to find the trees all together, we have to add. So we will put a addition sign over here. Now we will start adding. We will add from the unit side first. 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. Then we will add the tens place. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So the total number of guava and almond trees are 35. So we have got the total number of trees. So when we added 14 plus 21, we got the total trees. So what was asked children? How many trees did he plant altogether? So the answer for it is he planted 35 total trees all together. 
so i hope you must have understood this problem or the story now let's do the next problem of the textbook now we have to read the information given first ravi has 15 balloons and neeta has 21 how many do they have together so first we have to read the problem carefully now we have to write what is given so children what is given the number of balloons ravi has and the number of balloons neeta has so we will write number of balloons and number of balloons neeta has number of balloons ravi has and number of balloons neeta has then what is has children it is asked how many do they have all together so the total number of balloons they have all together now as they have asked the total number of balloons together we have to add so we will put a we will put add over here now let's add with the help of a table now we'll put tens and units in the first column units at the right hand side and tens on the left hand side now we will write the number of balloons ravi has that is 15 so balloons ravi has 15 so 5 in the units place and tens one in the tens place now the we will write the number of balloons neeta has that is 21 so balloons neeta has that is 21 so we will write one in the units place and two in the tens place now as we have to find the sum we will write addition sign over here now we will start adding with the units place that is 5 plus 1 what is 5 plus 1 children yes 6 now we will add the tens place 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 so the total number of balloons we have got 36 so what was our children how many balloons how many balloons do they have together so the total number of balloons is 36 so the answer for the question is neeta and ravi has 36 balloons all together so i hope you must have understood this problem also so we have to practice these sums at home and in the next class we will do more sums to bet to understand it better so bye till now and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you